In, in terms of the therapy, uh, do you use the, the animals also with the side of what you have as a practice at uh, Coco Equestrian Stables? Or is it just that when someone wants to have therapy with the horse, you don't have a practice on the side of no, developmental no. We, psychology? We no, just, we just do it on request. So you've got a lot of yes. education, Imogene, for just, you must love horses then. That, that must be part of it. Yes, too. I do love horses, but I also love people. And it's that uh, love of horses and people that I feel that if I can bring them together, um, this would be a better world. <laughs> and that's why your community loves your stables so much. And I know uh, our office has been alerted to some possible shifts that were going on. How long have you been? It's city and county that you lease the, yes. the property from. Is that is that a... Uh, how big is the area for those it's, who don't know, and how do they get there, actually, the location? It's 10 acres. Mm -hmm. It's in the heart of the Botanical Gardens at Coco Crater, and it was donated to the people of Honolulu by Hawaiian royalty with the um, premise that it be used for equestrian horse use. Only equestrian? Yes. Not park, but just equestrian? Equestrian okay. in perpetuity. So forever it should be a horse facility. The royalty were very wise in, uh, for, uh, in their forethought of that. So that means you're going to be around for a while. How long is your lease at the... Uh, it's a five-year lease. Five-year lease. And the premises, and I know this gets a little bit with what I know we were going back and forth with the city and county, was there a time when you always had access to the equestrian yes. botanical trails? Yes. And what's the status of that now? We have had access to the botanical garden trails since the 60s. Since the 60s? Yes. And when I took over the um, concession in 1990, we were prohibited from using the trails for seven years. Um, and that was because of uh, Michael Christensen, the botanic gardens director at that time. But from 1998 uh, to July of last year, we had access to the trails. Because there was a shift in the administration of the botanical gardens? or No. Um, the city and county enterprise services, uh, we, we took away our use of the trails. So we're really um, um, hoping to get it back again. Well, I know a number of years my daughter uh, went and rode... Uh, Kiko, I think, was the name of yes. the little... Is Kiko still around? No. I, Kiko. That was a while back. Kiko was a little white pony, and she was adorable. Yes, and my daughter was just so pleased to be able to ride Kiko. But when she rode, she rode along the botanical garden trails. So yes. what if my daughter, who's now 16, came and rode Kiko's younger sister or brother or whatever? Where would the riders ride now if you can't go into the botanical They would garden? just have to ride at our facility. What we've done is we've cut some trails of our own through our facility so that people have the feeling of going uphill, downhill, mm -hmm. and through different areas. But nothing compares with the Botanic Garden Trails. They are magnificent. Y yes, it was very sightly, and yes. they were wide. And yes. uh, Is that forever and ever that the trails are off, off the we, trail? We are hoping to get them back again because it is part of my lease. You know, in fact, uh, I had, uh, when I first heard about this, it's like, uh, well, we'll give you a car, but just don't drive it on the highways. And you can drive it around your, ha your house and your yard. Fortunately, you've got 10 acres, but still for those who want to get out and gallop or just get beyond uh, something very close to your, uh, your, your stables, uh, the Botanical Gardens was just, uh, just a real blessing. It's, it's ideal, and um, my insurance company insures all riders on the trail. They've insured them from 1990 on. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. any of our riders could go on the trail as long as it was given back to us and be covered by our insurance. When you said in 1990 to 1997 they had a no ride Yes, it policy. was not part of my lease. Well, what was the rationale? That, oh, it wasn't part of the lease. It was not part of the lease. Okay, yeah. so you couldn't do it because it wasn't yes. part of the lease. Then it became a part of the lease, yes. and then it was pulled back. What, what's some of the rationale for that, or at least that what you were told? Um, I was told that horses urinate and defecate at will. Is that a surprise? Did, did that a surprise and, anyone? Uh, the interesting thing <laughs> is that um, in spite of our efforts to 
get it back, um, that's the continual response from the city. The, and the horses urinate and defecate at will. Right. I mean, the horses are just being horses, aren't yes. they? I mean, yes. And I, my agreement with the city uh, previous to this was that if a horse uh, passed manure on the trail, we would pick it up, and we have honored that. So, you know, there wouldn't it's be no debris. The, That's true. It's perfect, gardens, it's perfect too. for the botanical gardens. But I think the botanical gardens um, uh, preferred not to have manure on the trail for the uh, people who walk the trail. How the uh, visitor industry, I know, doesn't have it as a major destination, but in terms of traffic that goes into the botanical garden, do you know what the numbers are? No, I, How I about do not the, know. the stables? Is there a a group that comes in, or is it regular local visitor, or what? What kind of uh, people come and do riding? Most of our people are local, mm. and they come from all over the island. Most of them come from Hawaii Kai, but we've had people who come as far as Mililani. Mm -hmm. or Eva Beach. In fact, uh, we have one student who comes every week from Eva Beach, and it's a major trip for her mom to bring yeah, her there. Yeah, you could drive from Eva Beach to yeah. Cocoa Craters. But uh, it's something that uh, she looks forward to, and so every week they come over, they make that trip from Eva Beach. Hmm. From the uh, difficulties, what do you see down the line? You've got uh, another three or four years on your future. Are there any plans for changes or differences or...? What's, or just getting your trails back is, is well, the goal. Our, what, are, what are the goals? Of, of our major goal now is to get our trails back because it has really hurt us not to have the trails mm. because a lot of people want to ride on the trails and they don't want to ride in just a little ring. They want to see things and enjoy nature and um, we need that in our society right now because we're so urbanized even on this little island and it, it's nice to ride a horse on a trail and to see nature. The gardens are beautiful and the trails are very wide and there is no real problem of conflict between people who walk and people who ride because there's plenty of room to move over. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, Imogene, you know we are in the, the Olelo studio and within a matter of days this will be broadcast throughout the state of Hawaii. This is kind of the first public uh, knowledge that many people have probably heard that the horses are there but the trails are not available. Is, is this the, the first going public, if you will, of, of this issue? And is it something that uh, viewers should know more about to come and see you? Or as you recall when we had the Farmers uh, Day on the Farm, it was for people to get to know that Camilo Nui Valley was possibly going to lose its rural farming uh, complexion, if you will, because if the rent went sky high, which now as we speak they're negotiating, but it was getting the community to know that this is an asset that we want to protect. If people know that your stables are kind of crippled in a way because you've got horses but you don't have the trails, uh, I'm thinking that some may come and want to rally around and behind you. And I know you're, you're a veterinarian and a PhD, you're not a political entity. But do you have any uh, suggestions for people who would, who would be uh, concerned to, about this issue, as certainly I am in, in my office, on behalf of the community, knowing that you are a valuable asset for the community? I think uh, if people are interested in helping us uh, get the trail open, um, if they could write letters of support for us, that would really make a big difference. How would they do that? You know, there's a new mayor. In, yes, uh, there is a new mayor. And we're very excited about it. And Does he ride horses? You know, I don't know. We're talking about uh, Mayor Carlisle, yes. who's not bow-legged, but uh, <laughs> I'm sure you would make a joke about how he walks or rides or shoots or whatever. But, <laughs> so we don't know that. And uh, maybe that's a variable where letters to the mayor's office, yes. because it is controlled by the mayor's office. Yes, absolutely. And we are very excited about the possibility of him reviewing the, our situation and reopening our trails to us. 